Hello, what's up my beautiful people? Well, today's video was inspired by one of my subscribers. Thank you, Magdalena, for your support, uh, for your nice idea uh, when it comes to readings. Uh, but I thought that today our reading will be named career or professional options. So um, what I decided it, when it comes to that is also to direct this reading in such a way that uh, we ask cards to give us the most financially uh, gratifying uh, perhaps professions or professional paths for us. So this is something that I want to emphasize when it comes to this reading. I will be doing it from that aspect and we will also check uh, from tarot some general energies when you when it comes to your professional sphere but let's see let's go uh to the first pile do pick more piles as i do think that there may be uh inspirational messages in more than one because career readings are a little bit complicated let's see general vibe of the first pile pile when it comes to career anyway. So we check the general vibe plus the most financially gratifying career options. That's the perspective that I decided to take for today. I hope you can see everything. We will take some placements as for this. Astrological houses will be very important. Okay, first of all, due to this sun in the 10th house, I am getting that uh, a large portion of you from this pile will be doing some type of government service, government profession. So this is something really significant, what I see from the cards. Um, one thing that I can say for sure here, whether you are in a career profession now or you are not, you are not meant to remain in that because we do have these five of swords, we do have temperance, we do have page of swords as indicator of uh, some type of challenging uh, news and uh, information when it comes to your profession, uh, some type of delays perhaps in achieving things and we do have the new beginning. So what I'm wanting to say when it comes to this pile is you guys are not to not supposed to be doing really for the other people. I am seeing self-made woman or self-made man when it comes to this pile. Uh, I'm getting that strongly also from this Mercury in Aries. Um, Mercury in Aries gives me a strong indication of first house in astrology and first house related to professions, to businesses being self-made, uh, being uh, self-employed, uh, working for yourself, working the best when you are alone. Uh, so working the type of a job that perhaps may also bring you some type of fame. Uh, also in conjunction with this sun in the 10th house. So this is something really significant that I'm getting from this pile. Uh, so one more thing that I see here uh, due to some intuitive uh, significations and plus astrological placement. We do have Jupiter and Cancer, so I will suggest some more profession when it comes to this pile. And what I'm getting strongly is you guys would be amazing at, at like... First of all, it will be for some of you working with family members, uh, working from your home, working in the industry of, you know, food, cooking, baking, candies, um, because cancer relates uh, to everything that's being, you know, cooked or prepared in the kitchen, because cancer will in astrology relate to kitchen, so some type also, also of services related to kitchen, to food, to... Uh, you know, ingesting a uh, hedonistic type of uh, hedonistic type of food when it comes to this pile. So this is something really beautiful. I'm also sensing gardening uh, or perhaps ex exterior designers from here. Florists uh, are one of the strongest options to here. So uh, 
as I already said, I am getting that you guys will be embracing some type of a new uh, professional path and these may be some of the options uh, that you may decide to embrace here, you know, so this is something really significant. I also have here a strong indication of 12th house, so for some of you it will be related with the multinational companies, foreign countries, uh, relating with foreign people, even prison prison guard type of professions because 12th 12, uh, house is all related with institution, everything that's uh, behind the scenes, but also institutions which are uh, more seriously guarded, like hospital, prison, uh, things of that nature. So, and also when what it, when it comes to this, I am getting that uh, it may be the type of work that isolates you somehow. So take into consideration all of the options that I said. Plus that it may be somehow isolating you or um, let's say you are the deliverer of night for food services. Uh, that profession would be isolating you normally because the most of people are, you know, asleep during the night. So this is something really significant. Let me see what else I have here. Moon in Pisces strongly emphasized also may um, relate when it comes to some of you guys of uh, taking some type of care related to animals. So uh, these profession, the professions that I already mentioned uh, as well as uh, some type of uh, relating with animals. So take that also into consideration, you know, but I am getting that the majority of this pile you are meant to be like CEO of your own uh, little startup company or business or something if you have an idea related to perhaps some of the things that I men mentioned please now is the time your work environment is toxic I don't see it uh, being prosperous long term and I'm not saying that to um, you know, make you anxious or anything, but uh, just to let you know that there's something better out there uh, for you. And I'm also with this page of swords, uh, getting that you may be currently in this process or you will be soon embracing it of exploring uh, or studying in some type of way for your future profession. So uh, this is something that I'm getting intuitively too. And I am getting that you will be perhaps doing courses or something uh, along those lines in order to um, and hearing just to make your knowledge a little bit better i'm getting it's already well established however you already have some type of foundation what for whatever you're wanting to build however uh, you will upgrade it just a little bit if that makes sense so uh, <clears throat> that's that's something really significant but with this Jupiter and Cancer I am getting that this new opportunity new job opportunity that will with this temperance take some patience will be very lucrative for you it will be very financially uh, beneficial I'm, I'm hearing not only for you but your entire family may benefit especially for those who are who are relating to that Jupiter and Cancer things uh, Mm, professions related to um, working with family members perhaps or something like that you know uh, so I'm getting you will be financially supported toward your family too I am also getting strong agri uh, agriculture agriculture is it said like that uh, agriculture's or farming, gardening, work, uh, if, if only even seasonal, uh, for some of you will be the Knight of Pentacles as well, and uh, what I already mentioned is um, cancer elements where we do have some type of gardening, floral, uh, earthy uh, type of work, so this is something also significant. But I think I will end it here. I hope you guys like this pile. If you did, like and subscribe and thank you for listening. So let's go to the second pile. So today we are exploring your career options. Uh, what I want to do for this reading is I want to direct the reading toward the best possible 
financially perhaps the best possible option for you guys so we will check the general energies plus some type of very financially beneficial fields or perhaps professions for you guys so this is something that let me see and I am getting some type of contract work, legalities, uh, paperwork for some of you, accounting, even for the other, but let me see. So, second part. Just give me a second to summarize the energies. So, I am sensing strong six, sixth house. So, for first time, intending to, you know, just denote some type of profession that would be very much uh, or fastest financial options for you when it comes to fast progress. So, uh, I am getting with the sixth house that you guys. Uh, it will be plentiful of, of options, there will be many of you listening, but some of the following professions like uh, accountant, health worker, service, health service provider, uh, like pet shop owner, uh, pet service provider, let me see what else we have, like nurse, doctor, healer, some type of healing energy, both with this moon and uh, sixth house, so... Uh, I'm also getting uh, like yes legal careers as I already said law uh, let me see now law laws judges lawyers things of that nature uh, let me see what else we have we have Mars in Taurus here which gives me indications of the second house so uh, a couple of more professions that could be uh, financially lucrative for this pile is um, it may also be teaching because second house will relate to that uh, food industry uh, professions related to the use of voice like singing or motivational speaker public speaker uh, because second house corresponds with that to uh, real estate agents because second house is related to uh, fixed assets that we possess so uh, this is something really significant um, what else we have here I'm also getting things like um, gems, jewelry, gold uh, something related to that so uh, there is many of you will be in this pile and you will uh, relate to different things but uh, I am getting that all these professions that I'm mentioning could be very much karmically fast path for you guys to develop financially. So uh, with the moon and the 11th house, uh, I'm getting also like community work, community service providers, humanitarian work. Some of you guys will be doing because 11th house represents Aquarius too and correlates with that will be doing a humanitarian work in future. Also, this is something that I'm hearing strongly. I am getting that you will have this type of pentacle resources that will support that too. Uh, but let me see what else we have here. Mercury in Scorpio. Mm. Just a second. Mm. I am getting also uh, things like uh, you know, death and rebirth, jobs that require fast reactions like ambulance driver or uh, medical professionals that deal in those urgent health situations, ER, uh, psychologists, occult, uh, occult professions here also. So um, you may think that it is uh, quite a wide choice uh, that I'm mentioning, but all of us do have a wider a wide range of potentials that some of them we are not even aware of so this is something significant but I am getting that most of you guys are having some type of intu intuitive feelings and although you are currently somewhat yet confused I am getting that soon you will have, have this very strong mental clarity uh, when it comes to which field to choose uh, and I am getting that for the majority 
if you this may be something that you didn't really do uh, up until now and this will be like a new profession to you starting something entirely new and and getting you will feel get a lot of stability and fulfillment through that uh, so and getting that you will have you will somehow get some type of new, new uh, knowledge that will help you uh, launch this business, this, um, let's say, Etsy, gem shop, or uh, whatever it may be here um, with the Ford house, also maybe related with some type of work from home, uh, is one thing that I'm getting strongly also with the moon here, so I do have more than one indications of Cancerian qualities are related to profession, so uh, it may be somehow related to your home. This is something also significant. Let me see what else I hear. I am getting if you are uh, currently in some type of a profession, although you are quite satisfied, it can be better. You know, uh, is what I'm what I see clearly. And for those of you who resonate in staying in the same profession. I am getting that you will get a new level of status to it, you know, uh, you will get acknowledged in, a, acknowledged in a way that you weren't up until now, if that makes sense, so uh, this is really amazing pile. But let me see what else I have here. Strong eight house here, so I am getting also that you guys may in the future have profits through other people's money and uh, let us uh, denote some careers uh, that can be related for that so that money can come from I don't know alimentation sponsorships donations um, like insurance agent um, you know somebody who somehow deals with other people's money even bankers and banking comes into this sphere so uh, let me see what else I have here. I am also hearing that for some of you, uh, like karmic time of this job that you are currently doing and the uh, performance that you are uh, performing, I mean performance that you are, um, that you are just uh, doing on your day to day basis, you know, uh, is going to come an end because this job or this salary that you are getting from that profession is not uh, not in accordance to your work. You have to be doing something much more. I'm hearing uh, less work but uh, quite paid off, uh, if that makes sense. You will have your way. I'm even hearing passive income for some of you guys when it comes to this. Uh, but let me see what else. If I have anything else really loud in this pile to mention. It's strong Mars in the fourth house. I'm getting it is those are the COVID times that some of you could profit by let's say doing a channel about doing exercises at home or being a fitness instructor from a home. Uh, things related to that or even may be some type of activity of hobby uh, that you perform in your home uh, may also be an intellectual interest but uh, the one that you can somehow showcase uh, to wider audience or perhaps uh, let me tell you something if you have a hobby uh, you know just write down everything you know divide it into chapters save as PDF include pictures videos and you can very well uh, sell this with promotion. Uh, this is something also that I see as very beneficial and uh, potential for this part. Uh, let me see. But I think I will end it here. This will be our second pile and let's go a little bit to the third pile. So what we are doing today we are uh, checking your, on your general work energies and plus we are directing reading in the in that way that we denote the most important or professions with the most potential for you guys uh, to get the biggest financial rewards or the fastest one ones or the most efficient ones.
Uh, this pile is quite similar to the second one, so you may want to check that too. I heard from Spirit to take one more, although I took only four for the other ones. Let me see. Okay, first of all, let us denote some professions. We do have strong 6th house, 2nd house, 7th, 11th, mm, what else? Virgo, 6th house once again. Uh, okay, so I am getting, first of all, for some of you guys, you could have great financial benefits to uh, some type of professions relating to exotic pets because, because not known in sec sixth house will denote to me exoticism related to uh, pet type of service providing uh, that's of course one of the many many things uh, but let me see what else I have here I do have this uh, second house uh, I will also say some more things when it comes to that, but we also have the seventh house, excuse me, so I am seeing for some of you with this empress too, jobs like, uh, you know, wedding planner, uh, catering, something related to aestheticism, beauty, uh, I'm also hearing creative professions, uh, professions that com combine creativity and beauty uh, and works from home as well. Uh, but let me see, um, with the Saturn in the second house, um, second house may be related to many things, but with this Saturn here, uh, I am getting some type of works that provide services to older people, if that makes sense. Uh, so uh, perhaps you may be like caretaker for, uh, may want to be a caretaker for an older person or work in a hospice uh, in such way that you become basically additional family member to uh, this person where you um, can really relate to them. I'm getting there's something motherly, divine feminine in this pile's energy regardless of your gender uh, that people really feel eased about. So I'm getting that you can give a lot of ease to old people or dying or sick or handicapped so this is also something significant. I'm also getting with this Saturn in the second. Saturn is restriction, second house is finances as well. So um, a couple of things, uh, financial planning, also um, how do I say it? people who deal with the nutrition. So uh, you may be a nutritionist or let's say make a blog about healthy eating. Uh, this is something that I see as amazing for this pile because Saturn will be restriction, second house is our food, what kind of food uh, we intake, you know, how beneficial it is for our general health, health situation. So you may be having, let's say, like a blog, also with this 11th house you may be having like a blog or mass media presence or YouTube channel related to, let's say, combining healthy food, health and food somehow. Uh, so this is something significant. But I'm hearing to tell you if you are, uh, if you do have this intention of starting some type of a blog, let's say with this 11th house, it may be a possibility for some of you blog or such type of uh, profession. Uh, please pay some type of course that will learn you like, um, Ahrefs, if you heard about that, uh, that has like SEO strategies uh, that will show you in advance uh, which which topics could be monetized easily. So uh, let's say, for example, I don't know, live coaching is not a good idea for blogs because you don't have really much products to link them through affiliate marketing to get monetized. However, let's say, for example, a uh, blog about cameras is a good idea because we can 
link many many products products to Amazon and make it quite a solid living situation. So uh, this this is just an example. Uh, take the general message from this. Uh, do uh, detailed research when it comes to this profession that you are wanting to start or return to. I'm also getting for some of you returning to something. Um, make a research in that way that you make sure in advance that it will be financially prosperous because we all want to do our passion but you know in the end of the day we have bills to pay and we have to do a profession that will really give us money you know uh, I mean it is what it is we live in a 3D and that's the way things work so um, but let me see what else I have here I'm getting with the um, Rahu in sixth house. Uh, it will be like no, no, in sixth house that many of you have this deep healing, if not gift, then knowledge uh, brought from past incarnations, and that you should uh, you should use it in this lifetime as well, because no, no, always where it sits represents something that we brought from our past lives as a talent, you know. Uh, but let me see what else we have here with the seventh house i'm also getting for some of you like consulting work uh, work that uh, includes working with clients like what i do for example so uh, your new profession or uh, profession that you intend to return to with these six of swords reversed uh, may entail some type of working with your clients customers so uh, I am getting also if you do something like that, work with some type of clients, um, try to um, focus your attention to like open-minded or alternative or worldly type of clients. So uh, imagine your client like a person between, I don't know, set specific age and then start um, like, I don't know, worldly traveled person, imagine some of their interests and then, then try to imagine uh, what is one thing that this person, let's call them, I don't know, John, you can call them whatever, really wants and needs. So uh, really do some type of psychological profiling when it comes to, that's for those of you who are doing some type of work with clients. But let me see what else, if I have anything else here really significant of mentioning. Mm. Definitely some type of uh, health uh, related topics in this pile, this is something really significant. Even uh, also negotiating um, with the sixth house, what else we have? Mediating, you know, between two parties to, uh, let's see, second house, you can uh, do like things like I don't know, rent a flat for a day or something like that related to renting also it would be very beneficial and uh, how do I say profitable for you guys. But I think I will end uh, this pile here. I hope you guys like this reading. If you did, like and subscribe. Thank you for listening.